Hi there, welcome to the third episode of the Sibelius tutorial. When you open Sibelius, the quick start window will show up. This window helps you start using Sibelius quickly. Let's begin. At the top of the quick start window, there are five main tabs. Learn, New Score, Recent, Import, and Latest News. In the Learn tab, there are two sites. On the left side, you will see video links and more information about Sibelius on the Sibelius website. On the right side, you will find links to PDF documents like tutorials, the reference guide, and new features in this version. So, the next step is new score. It has many templates you can choose for your project based on the instruments you need. You can click on the template you want to open, but I usually create a blank template and make my own template according to the piece. The recent tab shows icons of all the Sibelius scores you have opened before on your computer. These are sorted by date. There is also an open button on this tab for opening the scores you select. Now, let's see the next tab. The import tab gives you four ways to bring music into Sibelius. On the left side, you can open Photo Score software, which scans music. I like this a lot and will teach you more about it soon. An audio score software, which changes audio files into music notes. On the right side, you can open MIDI files or music XML files. The latest news tab shows the newest news about Sibelius if your computer is online. At the bottom of quick start window, there are always a few options. The open other button lets you open Sibelius files like SIB, MIDI, XML, and more on your computer. If you check this box, you will always see this window when you open Sibelius. And if you uncheck this box, Sibelius will open with a blank document next time. And if you check this box, Sibelius will show the quick start window again after you close all your open scores. And if you uncheck this box, Sibelius will close and quit after you close your last open score. The zoom slider changes the size of the icons in the new score and recent tabs. The exit button will quit the application completely. The close button works differently on Windows and Mac computers. On Windows, it quits Sibelius. On Mac, it only closes the quick start window and Sibelius will keep running in the background until you quit. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel and leave your comments. See you in the next videos.